Sierra Echo EVs up to 300 HP coming to SEMA. The Echo base starts at $39,000 and has 150 horsepower, but you can get the 300 horsepower Echo R spec for $74,900. The Echo, which will be available in three different configurations, promises to push the limits of electric vehicle technology while maintaining the brand's special appeal. Kicking things off is the Echo Base, which costs $39,000. The entry-level model has an 18.6 kWh battery pack and a rear-mounted electric motor that produces 150 horsepower, 112 kW-152 PS, and 165 lbft, 223 newton meters, of torque. This will allow the 1,350 pounds, 612 kilograms, model to accelerate from 0 to 60 miles per hour, 96 kilometers per hour, in 5.5 seconds before reaching a top speed of 129 kilometers per hour, 80 miles per hour. Powertrain aside, the single-seat EV is planned to be launched next year and will feature a stiff suspension with Fox shocks. The company also said we can expect 15-inch Sparco wheels wrapped in 26-inch gravel rally tires. Moving up the trim ladder is the rally slash gym inspired Echo R spec. It has an upgraded powertrain that produces 300 horsepower, 224 kilowatts slash 304 PS, and 350 lbft, 474 newton meters of torque. The weight and price tag increase to 1,500 pounds, 680 kilograms, and $74,900 respectively, but top speed also rises to over 100 miles per hour, 161 kilometers per hour. Last but not least, there's the Echo Block Edition, priced at $85,000 and limited to 7 units. Optimized for racing at Pikes Peak, the model features a revised powertrain with 300 horsepower, 224 kilowatts slash 304 PS, and 368 lbft, 498 newton meters, of torque. In addition to being more powerful, the block edition tips the scales at 1,350 pounds, 612 kilograms, and can reach a top speed of 120 miles per hour, 193 kilometers per hour. Lucy Block drove the special edition at Pikes Peak earlier this year and placed 47th overall with a time of 11 minutes and 25.315 seconds, making her a few seconds slower than the Rivian R1T. That's not exactly an impressive result, but some of the proceeds will be donated to the Block family's non-profit foundation.